we know he's still out there and we're not gonna leave him out there so we just need eyes on every shoreline I'm gonna take this altitude. two hoisted to safety in a heart pumping rescue sunday as a commercial crabbing boat started to sink we're survivor just below the cabin roger back in left 20. yep keep coming back and left the raft is just below us my brother bryson he made it to the raft along with the other two passengers and um a wave came over them and he got taken by the wave. That man taken, a father of three small children, a six-year-old, a four-year-old, and a four-month-old, and a beloved husband. So hard to see him. A wife in anguish. It's brutal. Non-stop searching for him. We were out there at probably eight in the morning in the rain searching for him. Um, and all day yesterday. All day yesterday. All day. And now they're pleading for your help in searching for him. We are just spread thin and we just need help and eyes everywhere. Here's where he might be. The Grayland, Toakland, Westport, Bay Center, Long Beach area on the beaches is where we want the eyes to be. Um, but our, our biggest hunch is that he will be in the Toakland area near Washaway Beach um, and Bond beach. Bryson is a fighter. And he, if there was anyone, it would be him who survived this. And a co coordinator for the Coast Guard told us suspending search efforts is a tough decision that we never take lightly. Crews searched for 15 hours, covering nearly 300 square miles throughout the area using drones and other search equipment. Reporting live in studio tonight, I'm Maddie White, King 5 News.